Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Dr. El Sayad and I'm a radiology consultant working in the UK. Today we're going to discuss three Viva cases where we'll be able to learn from our mistakes by asking the candidates to go through multiple chest radiographs to comment on the findings. Then we will discuss the way that the candidate has answered this case and we will point at the mistakes that we shouldn't be doing and we will highlight the important findings that you need to point to your examiner to be able to achieve high score and to pass on every case you do. So now starting with the first case with our first candidate. This is a chest radiograph of a 58 year old patient with persistent cough. A well centralized, um, a well centralized and well exposed uh, chest uh, radiograph front of chest radiograph of uh, a 58 years old patient complaining of persistent cough. Uh, there is uh, a small, uh, a small uh, uh, opacity is seen in the left uh, upper uh, lung zone. Uh, there is no significant uh, speculation could be noted the, around the, the lesion. Uh, no signs of uh, lobar collapse. Uh, the uh, other parts of the lung uh, shadows the middle and lower lung zones on both sides as well as the uh, right apical uh, right upper lung zone appears clear okay uh, there is no uh, significant hilar uh, lesions could be noted the cardiac uh, border appears uh, clear and crispy the uh, diaphragm and cp angles appears clear the uh, infradiaphragmatic region is fine breast shadow and uh, bony thorax, as well as other soft tissue shadow, uh, appears unremarkable. There is no significant bony abnormalities could be uh, detected. No uh, pleural effusion or a pneumothorax uh, could be seen. Uh, so, to summarize, there is uh, a small left upper lung, uh, a small nodular lesion, uh, most likely uh, to be uh, of uh, my differential diagnosis include a, a small uh, bronchogenic carcinoma. Other uh, differential diagnosis could include a hamartoma or a, a granuloma. Uh, further, I, I will take this uh, further uh, to do a CT of the chest for further characterization of the lesion. I will uh, also inform the uh, treating physician about the finding and about my concern of being uh, a new plastic lesion. And uh, I will prepare uh, the patient for the uh, CT of the chest. Excellent. Now I'm going to give a feedback on this case. I think it's clearly demonstrated that the candidate has clearly identified the abnormality, described uh, some of the features of the abnormality, and then called for an action at the end to manage this case. My feedback is based on allowing and giving everyone the opportunity to get 8 out of 8, especially for the opening case, uh, because it's usually a case that you can really nail 8 out of 8. And it's expected that you would comment on the quality of the radiograph. So, for example, look for any signs to mention if it's AP or PA, and if it's mildly rotated or not, and if there's good inspiration. And also, when you describe any lesion, make sure you describe the size, site, location, and any associated features to this mass lesion. When you are uh, describing the negatives, try to lump some in one uh, single sentence, rather than saying uh, the pleura looks okay, the uh, lungs looks, apex looks okay, the hyla looks okay, the humerus looks okay, the ribs looks okay. And there's nothing wrong with saying that there's nothing wrong with this and this and that, but I think it's uh, taking a valuable time of you during the Viva where you need to go through more cases to get the highest score possible to help you pass the examination from the first time. So make sure in the management section then you initiate the adequate uh, pathway. So for example, this is a potential cancer. So we need to initiate the unexpected cancer finding pathway and initiate a red alert and maybe notify the MDT uh, team so that they can add it on the next list to be discussed, to be fully staged and to decide whether this patient requires a biopsy or treatment or whatever management they need to do. So the way I would uh, 
approach this case. This is a PA mildly rotated radiograph with good inspiration. There's an oval opacity seen in the left upper zone, measuring approximately 3 by 2 millimeter, slightly irregular in the border, but no definite speculation. This lesion is seen projected over the left first rib and doesn't demonstrate any calcification or definite cavitation uh, within it. There are no satellite lesions and there are no other lung consolidation or mass lesion is seen. And then I would say, uh, looking at the review area, there are no other periapical, comma perihilar, comma retrocardiac or paraspinal soft tissue abnormality and there are no destructive bony lesion is seen. The costophrenic angles are clear and cardiac with standard contour are with the normal limits and I can't see any definite abnormality below the diaphragm. And then I'll turn to the examiner and see there's a left upper zone uh, oval lesion. This is this likely to Europe to be a cavitating lesion and it doesn't fulfill the criteria of a hamartoma therefore I'm really worried about malignancy and I would initiate the red alert and initiate the unexpected cancer, cancer pathway and then make sure that this is highlighted to the MDT coordinator so it's it gets discussed in the following MDT to discuss further staging management and potential biopsy of this abnormality. And as I promised on the lecture, that I'm going to show you the CT scan on this presentation so that you can correlate findings and confirm your suspicion. Please note that there will be a left upper lobe uh, lung mass and that you will be looking for hyalur lymphadenopathy, any other lesion that we couldn't see on x-ray, and you will look for any bony abnormality and other suprarenal or abdominal masses to be able to uh, do a full staging and to give the diagnosis to the clinician so they can plan treatment. So we may need to make sure to review our review areas on CT scan so that we pick up all abnormality. I'm going to scroll and then you could uh, go on backwards and forwards to check for a uh, lesion as, w as you wish. Thank you. I hope this was helpful. Please make sure you leave some uh, questions in the comment box below or any suggestions of future lecture topics and make sure you uh, like, share and subscribe this video so, so that you can get my next video on uh, viva preparation and how to learn from your uh, viva mistakes. And thank you.